Hi guys! Today we have Ariel's Undersea Castle. It's a Play-Doh set. Ooh, I bet this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, here we have Ariel. Oh, don't fall. She's ready to play. She still has her fin on. Well, that's pretty fun. You don't see that very often. Let's see what else we have. We have a roller that has a seahorse on it. You can see it can roll stars, shells, music notes, more stars. It's a, the same pattern. We're going to look at the castle first. Look. It has a shell that Ariel can sit in once she's done. It also has a shell that has some stampers in it. It has a doorway she can come through. Lots of fun things. It also has lots of different shapes on it that we can also punch out. We have some little sea creatures here. We have some shells here. And even on the back, there's a nice little, there's some different things we can punch out here too. Some algae, some musical notes. Let's see if we can get the musical notes. Some musical notes, all sorts of things. And it also has some stands that we could put different things on that are smaller. Okay, let's set this here for now. We also are gonna take a better look at her rolling carriage. You see, you could make stars from that. You can put her inside, there's stars on both sides, and we also have, like I showed you before, the roller. And this one, if we put her back here, you can see it better. We'll put her inside just like that, and, and she could be pulled along in her special carriage. Okay, I'm gonna set this back. It also comes with a, a good knife for doing Play-Doh. And it also has this pretty neat thing. Okay, this has two different caps. It has this cap and it has this cap. This one makes more like a string type shape and this one makes more like an hourglass type shape. And what you do is you screw it on here just like that, okay? And then it's going to put this inside and it's gonna become our pumper. And when we put Play-Doh inside, it will come out very nicely. And then we can change it if we want to use the other one. You just unscrew it like that. And then we put the other one on and we screw it tight. There we go. Okay, I say it's time to play. What do you think? I think we should start by making her a dress and pretend like she's already met her prince. Let's go ahead and use the purple. We're going to take it all out so we have enough. So put a bit more in there. Okay, we're going to smush it together and we're going to make it a little bit wider because it's got to go all the way around. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's start putting it in. Can you see all those pretty sparkles? Wow. Okay, we're going to go ahead and hook it around the back. And mold it the way I want. See, I'm, I want a little crease up here in the front to make it look like it's really a nice big fluffy dress. You see that nice big fluffy dress now that she has on? Nope, oh, I think this part I need to bring out a little bit more. So it's not curved inside. Let's make it curved outside. There, like that. That's awfully pretty, I think. Do you think it's pretty? Okay, what should we do with her next? Let me put this over to the side. That'll be like a little ribbon. OK, 
Okay, let's do another one. Let's do one over here on this side. Okay, we start it out. Can you see that good? We push it down a little bit. There. Now she has some nice ribbons. I still want to do something else with her. Why don't we change colors? Oh yes, that would be nice. It's almost like decorating a cake, but we're making a dress. That's kind of fun. Okay, let's do it here. Oh, I'm going to need a little bit more. Maybe I'll just scrape the sides because I know there's more inside. So we could just scrape it along with it inside of the tube to make that extra Play-Doh go towards the bottom. Just like that. Okay. Let's come back here to where we were because I want this a little bit more like that. There. Oh, she's coming along quite nicely. I still think she needs something else though. Maybe we should put some shells on her dress. What do you think? Maybe some pink and green shells because we haven't used those yet. We have little shells on our castle we can use, and we also have here Flounder and Sebastian, and up here we have two more fish. But because we want it for her dress, I think we should just do some shells. So I'm going to go ahead and push that right there. There's one, and we're gonna go ahead and do this one too. And then we'll take them both out at the same time. Okay. Now we're going to pop it out. Here's one. Let's see, I think we should put this right there at the top. And let's get the other one out. Just pop it right out. I'm gonna put that one right there. Okay, now let's do some pink. I think Look, there's some shells on the back too. We'll use some of those. And you know what though? I like these musical notes so much. Why don't we make a musical note to put on her dress? Because we know that Ariel loves to sing. Because that's what the evil Ursula tried to take away from her, isn't it? Was her voice. But she managed to get it back. She one, okay, we have a nice musical note that we're gonna pop out now. There we go. Let's see where we should put that on the dress. I think we should put it right here. Oh, I think her princess dress is quite stunning. She needs something here though. There's too much right there. Let's put something else green. I really do like how the green turned out. Let's see what else we can find to make. Oh look, here are some small musical notes from here and a star. Let's go ahead and use the wheel to make a few things for our for her dress. We're gonna do that one, we're gonna do that one, and we're even gonna do this one. Okay, we're gonna take off the extra, just like that. And we're going to pop out there, there's a nice musical note too. That's a smaller one. Let's go ahead and put that right here. Ah, it fell. It's really quite tiny, kind of hard to see. Okay, let's get the next one. The next one was a little shell. Put the little shell there. And let's get the last one. Now you don't only have to put the Play-Doh on other Play-Doh. Let's go ahead and give her a star in her hair. There. And now Ariel is done for the moment. Let's go ahead and set her up here in the castle so you can see what it like, looks like when she's up there. That's just perfect for greeting beautiful guests. You can see some of her friends behind us. Right on top, because I want to see what this is. Something like that. Then we're going to go ahead and take it out like that, and we're going to 
turn around and look at it. <gasps> They're singing. Do you see that? Well, that was sure a surprise. I wonder what else there is. Let's put that one back here. Let's do another one. I know those are musical notes, but we can still do them. It will be fun. Let's do, let me turn this so everyone can see. Let's go ahead and do the musical notes. So we just push it like that. And then we pick it up. There, just playing a song. La, 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 la. There's so many things to do with this, it's hard to know what I want to do. Let's go ahead and use this one and see what happens when Ariel's carriage rolls over it. Let's go ahead and put Ariel inside and we're going to say, okay, roll right over the Play-Doh. Oh, make sure it stays down. And it's almost like a secret message showing us that Ariel is on the way. I do hope that you guys will come play with me again sometime soon. It was so much fun to play with you. See you next time.